Good morning everybody. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at edge highlighting. So the first thing to discuss when it comes to edge highlighting is what kind of brushes to use. So typically when you think of edge highlights you want to use like the smallest brush you can find because it makes sense really if you're doing a very fine detail area of your model then naturally you want to use a very fine detail brush. However I would advise against this because if we take this brush here, this is a size double zero. If we have a look at just how small that brush is, you can see it's just a very, very thin, tiny brush. Now, if we were to load this brush up with paint, essentially what would happen is you're not gonna have a lot of paint actually on your brush. So in the actual belly of the brush and some of that, you're gonna have very little paint. So the paint will naturally dry on your bristles. And therefore, when you come to apply your edge highlight, you might get say one line done and then you'd have to return to the palette and wash your brush and load up again. So ideally what you should be using instead is brushes with a bigger belly. So this one here is a size one. You can see just how much bigger that belly is. Now this brush will be able to hold a lot more paint than the size double zero and therefore you'll be able to maintain your edge highlights for longer having to not return to the palette as frequently. The next thing to discuss is paint consistency. So this paint here is straight from the pot. And now this paint would be too thick to edge highlight. You would end up getting very, very thick, very chunky edge highlights if you were to use something like this. So the consistency you're looking for is just a little bit thinner than your typical layer paint. So we've got one drop of water just here and always put your water to the side and pour your paint into your puddle. So this here is roughly what a layer paint would look like. So we're going to go one more. Into roughly this consistency here. Okay, so we've got our paintbrush ready. We've got our paint ready. So the final step is the actual technique of edge highlighting. So what you want to do is make sure where possible to be using the belly of the brush as you get a lot more control with it rather than using the few hairs from the tip. So we want to be aiming where possible something akin to this. So we've angled our brush so that we can use the actual belly over that edge. So when we're ready, we want to make sure that we actually wick off the brush because as you can see here, I've loaded it up. This is way too much paint and way too much water. So just grab your tissue paper and just wick off the excess pull it in a twisting motion to maintain the tip, and now we are good to go. So with everything ready, we want to make sure, as I said earlier, to angle your model so that you can actually use the belly of the brush. So just find a comfortable position, and just with a light touch, just run along that edge detail. Now, just to show you, if you weren't to wick off the excess, and you weren't to use a light pressure, you would get something like this. So we've got our brush really, really full of paint. And if we don't apply a light pressure, if we apply heavy pressure, we're going to get a very, very thick, nasty edge highlight such as this.